sure it's not super tangled. Welcome to my mind. You're like, what? Is she gonna hang giant bowls in the wall? No, but kind of. This is a self-watering planter and it's massive. Uh, it was actually really hard to find one this large. I needed them to be very big because I wanna see if they can fit the ferns that I currently have on the front porch. Because while it is very beautiful and quaint to have big Boston ferns on your front porch. They're not native here and they're very finicky. So if it's not summer and humid, they're upset. I'd rather bring them inside and let them thrive in the shade, hopefully in here, and then put some native plants out on the front porch so it's less maintenance. And I just love the idea of this being like a massive fluffy fern wall area. So you're like less looking at the TV when you enter this room and you're more just like, wow, look at that burn wall. So that's the goal. I got inspired by this architectural digest tour of David Harbour's house. And he has hanging plants all throughout the house and lots of plant, he, he loves plants. And I was like, I love that too. I wonder if I can do that in my living room. And here we are. Here is the planter. It is white, obviously, and I don't plan for it to stay white. I only got it in white because that was the only color that could ship immediately from the seller. So what I'm thinking is that I'm going to spray paint it black and then wrap it in a very thick jute rope. That is also inspired by that David Harbour episode because his had like coir. I don't know if that's how you say it. C-O-I-R. Coir on the bottom of his hanging plants in his house and I just really like that natural element. So I figured maybe I could try to reproduce that with jute. I think spray paint and then super, not super glue, spray paint and then hot gluing jute to this thing. And I have six of them because I have six ferns. It's gonna be massive. painted another coat on the black baskets and they're outside drying and now I'm going to show you how I wrap the jute around these baskets in case this is something you want to do too. Uh, it's going to be very simple. I'm just going to hot glue it onto the plastic basket. The tricky part, oh you find your end. That's helpful. Make sure it's not super tangled. That was a tricky part. Yes that gives us a good start before we have to fiddle with it again. Are there scissors in here? Yes. Yay! We're gonna start from the top rim. I'm just gonna put a bead of glue every few places or so. And as I'm wrapping it around, and I'll just continue to wrap all the way onto the bottom as well. Make sure I don't block this plug hole. That allows you to release the water if needed. Since it will also be visible from the bottom, I want to carry the jute down here as well. Now I'm going to turn on some peaceful fall piano. Maybe you can listen to peaceful fall piano, but the non-copyright kind. Cool. See you in a bit. again. <laughs> Jute dust. Hazards of the job. So those are done. I can figure out where I'm gonna hang these guys. I think what I'm going to do is have two ferns stacked vertically over here, but because I'm doing the ferns there, it's going to cut into the space for the record cabinet, which is going to be record cabinet, rocking chair, and then this lamp. And then as I'm seeing this room come to life, I'm realizing this lamp doesn't work in here anymore. If I'm moving things around and if I'm looking at things critically, it doesn't work in here. I know 
there is a room where it still may work that I haven't gone to yet. It's going to be a while, but I think it would look really cool in there. So it's not a total waste that I did that DIY. I'm glad I restored it and I can see exactly what it looks like now and where it fits well, but it's not going to be in here. And now I need to figure out other lighting situations, but I am, I'm feeling really good about having the ferns there. So I'm going to hang them. Welcome to my mind. Just where it was needed like it a lot a lot and now I'm thinking I want a planter here flanking this window flanking the pocket doors into the dining room and then finally one right near that entrance which would equal six but I also want to sleep on it because when I start doing this where I'm like going back and forth and coming up with random new ideas and all this stuff I just want to sleep on it and then come back with fresh eyes and a fresh mind and be like, did I actually want to do this or not? How incredible does that look? My ferns have never looked better. That looks so cool. The little water measure told me that I have enough water in it now. I can't imagine how heavy this thing is. So this is also going to be a test of can it hold the weight and nothing breaks if I want to put it other places around the room. I need to make sure it's sturdy. I did it. I did it. I love it. I'm so happy with this decision. I'm still waiting on another thing of jute rope to come tomorrow so I can finish up the final two planters but it looks so cool and I'm so happy with it. All of the ferns are up, look at them. It's such a little plant oasis in here. It's just created this really cool effect in here of feeling like you're on the forest floor. That's not accurate because the ferns would be on the forest floor, but you know what I mean. It feels like a nursery. It feels like you're in nature. I'm really happy I also wrapped them with jute. I do think that just brings a lot more warmth to this room because it is black and white. And I want it to feel a lot more natural and grounded and have warmer tones. So all of the furniture is warmer tones. I think the window treatments are, I'm also gonna go with wood blinds. But this is a really great first step. And unfortunately, the giant ladder is back. <laughs> blocking these shots, but I have my ceiling light coming finally. I'm so excited about it. I don't know if the camera can do it justice right now, especially with all the other stuff in this room that doesn't look great, but it is really just a magnificent effect. I sit down on the couch and I'm like, wow, I love that. And the plan is to have even more plants on the walls. I have a whole gallery wall planned with bits of art that is of plants that I've thrifted, as well as actual plants. So that'll be really fun. And this room, it just feels really special already. And I'm so excited about it. I hope you enjoyed learning about how to bring hanging plants into your home. I really would recommend self-watering planters too, because they're also making sure that the roots don't get overwatered or under water all that good stuff next episode i will hopefully be able to share all the work i've been doing non-stop on the record cabinet which has been the bane of my existence you can see my hands are completely stained with gel stain isn't that cute it's it's been a long slog on that guy i'm hoping it turns out really well and i'm hoping i'm able to share it by next sunday but otherwise it will be a decor focused episode ceiling light the gallery wall I talked about, and some other fun things. If you haven't subscribed already, please do and turn on notifications, and then you'll get updated every time I post a new video. Thanks for being here, and I'll see you next time. Bye.